Now, Jonathan opened up the series last week talking about uncommon love. And it's our hope as a church, our vision as a church, that we would be an oasis, an oasis for people that are worn out, that are weary, that are disappointed from the options of the world. They've been chasing things in this world that end up being mirages. And Jonathan talked about the woman at the well and all the things that she had been chasing until she finally understood the uncommon love that comes from God that can truly quench the thirst that we have. He was specifically talking about the joy that we can have that surpasses circumstances. Not just a temporary happiness that may change depending on where we are in life, but a joy that surpasses that, surpasses any understanding, any circumstance that life can bring. That's the uncommon love that we receive from God. In fact, Paul says we need power, the power of God to even understand this love. Look at Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 through 19. He says, for this reason, I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in the inner being. Why? So that may Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in that love, you may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to, to the measure with the fullness of God. So for you and I to understand the love of God, just how deep it is, how wide it is, how long, we need to have the supernatural power in our lives already. We can get a glimpse of this, but until we truly thirst for God's love, until we truly pursue who God is, it's it's, it's just going to be this uncommon love. It's going to be out there that, but we don't experience it. Rather, this uncommon love as Christians can be part of our lives and not just part of our lives, but we can reflect it onto others. We can show others what this uncommon love has done in our life. 